Hello everybody, it's Beth here again. Today we're going to have a go at doing this really lovely multicoloured giraffe. Um, I've used paints and felt tips. If you don't have any paint you could just use felt tips um, and crayons or you could just do it in pencil and draw on lovely patterns with your pencil. So if you've got everything ready we'll make a start. So we're going to start by drawing the giraffe's um, nose and mouth, I think. So what we'll do, uh, put a pencil probably about a third of the way down the paper. And starting in the middle, we're going to just do a little curved line going up at the edges and then curve it round. These are the nostrils that we're drawing at the moment. So a little curved line, both sides bring it round and then back down like this okay now we're going to just bring this line back out again so on both sides so bring it out round and down i'm going to do both sides try and keep it relatively even on both sides like that so, once we've got to that point, this is the top of the mouth. We're going to just draw a little line that joins these two points up and it just curves a little bit and up the other side. So again, little sketchy lines, everybody, so that if you do make a mistake, you can rub it out really easily. Then we're going to just take that in a little bit now on both sides and we're going to bring it down. We're going to do a big smiley curve. We're going to make it roughly the same distance so you might want to just put a little dot roughly the same distance and then we're going to curve it round to meet in the middle like that. So it's the top part of the mouth, this is the bottom part of the mouth and we can do it slightly open so we can put another little line in just here and then this is the, the mouth that's slightly open. There we go, so a nice big smiley mouth. We'll just pop his nostrils in as well, just so we can see. So a little nostril there, and one on the other side. Okay. Right, so we've got his, his mouth in and his nose. We're gonna do his face. So a little gap under his chin there, and we're gonna bring that round up one side and take it out slightly and do the same on the other side and bring it out just slightly on both sides and then I'm going to take it, we'll do the eyes in a minute, so I'm going to take it up a little bit further, the eyes are going to go roughly about here so I want to take it up a little bit higher on both sides. Start curving it round and then we're going to take it up in a little point at the top like this. Okay and then his eyes basically we're going to just do a curve just down from this point just a little bit a nice big curve that comes in round and back out again and the same on the other side you might want to just track it with your pencil just to make sure it's roughly even on both sides and then we're going to just put a curved edge to it like this on both sides and then what we can do is we can just rub that little line out okay so starting to take shape isn't it this is we're going to put his little um, horns on at the top now mine are going to go off the edge of the page, but that's quite nice. I quite like it. It looks like it's close up. But that should be a bit closer up. So one that curves up like that. Just rub out the lines I don't need. And the same on the other side. Okay, his ears, again they're going to come off the edge of the page, which is fine, so we're going to go up, just 
just above his eye, the line that goes up, over, and then take them off. And then the bottom line, so about here, goes down and then up. Same on the other side, so it's going up, over, and like that. Okay, and then his lovely long neck. So big long neck. I'm going to take it in just slightly and then just out slightly. Like that. There we go. His eyes look a bit strange at the moment, so we're just going to pop another line in on that side and another line in there. Like that. His ears, we're just going to fold them over a little bit, so just a little line that just follows the curve on that side and the same on that side. And then what we can do, we've got lovely long eyelashes, so we can put those in now if you want to, or you can save it for later and put them in a bit later. And we'll just do a little bit underneath, a few little ones underneath as well. So that's probably all we're going to do in terms of the features. We want to put our lovely markings on now. So I'm going to just draw in some markings. So nice sort of organic -y type shapes, not perfect squares, some big ones, some slightly smaller ones. I'm going quite big as we go down his neck some coming off the edge and then what and then you can if you want to put some in on his face if you want to draw them in or we could just paint them in but they will be smaller just slightly smaller ones around his face on his chin I'm not doing any on his mouth and his nose and then even smaller on his forehead and his and his um, horns there so I'm going to paint those in, I'm not going to bother drawing those ones in. Alright, so I'm going to move on to my paints now. Um, just because they dry super quickly, I'm going to use watercolours, but again you could use whatever colours you have or whatever paints you have. Um, I'm going to start off with the nose first of all. And we're going to do it, you can choose really, it's a multicoloured giraffe, so you can choose which colours you want or what, what your favourite colours are. I'm going to do um, yellow and I've got two shades of yellow so what I want to do is I want to make the outside of it a bit darker so I'm doing it nice sort of a nice dark yellow around the edges so his nostrils really work my paint make it nice and dark you could even add a tiny bit of orange to it. To make it a bit darker. And then I'm going to a lighter yellow. If you're using paints, what you would do is just add a little bit of white into your colour. With watercolours, you often just need a bit of water on your brush. And then that just makes it lighter. And then that middle section is lighter, so it makes it stand out a bit. And then we'll do the same for the bottom bit. So the edges will make nice and dark again. Bit of water. Okay. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of water on my brush and then just drag that paint in and make that middle bit nice and light. So that just gives it a bit of form, a bit of shape. Um, I'm just going to make this a bit darker so all I'm going to do for that is just a little bit of orange and make that nice and dark inside. Not too tricky. And we'll do the same for the nostrils, just a little bit of orange. Again, you can choose. There is no right or wrong with this. You can use whatever colours you want. Okay, so that's the mouth done. 
So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to paint some of these markings because I want these to dry quickly so we can put our lovely pattern work on. So I'm just going to do it colour by colour. So I'm going to just get some yellow to start with. Start off with my light colours. I'm going to do a few yellow sections. So I'll put one there, put one here. Maybe we could do another yellow one a few rounds here. And then I'm going to do some little yellow. I'm making them smaller at the top of the head. And also I'm doing some little spots along the edge of the horns. So I'm going to change my colour now. I'm going to choose a pink, I think. You can just do these in any colours you want. Or even the same colour. There's no right or wrong. This is your work. Okay, so a few little pink spots. Maybe one there. I've got smaller. Okay. Um, might do some blue. So let's find a nice blue colour. Do a blue one. Get my water. Blue one. Maybe blue one there. Use blues. Uh, let's go for a nice green. Get a bit of green on our giraffe. Make him really lovely and colourful. So my, because I'm using watercolours, the colours aren't incredibly bright. Obviously if you use felt tips or poster paints you can get much brighter colours. So a few nice green spots. While I've got the green on my brush, I'm actually going to do his eyes as well. So I'm going to just paint this bit green. Here as well. Um, so we'll leave that. And that's enough green. Let's find another colour, a bit of purple. Do a nice big purple shape down here. So building up all these lovely colours, making them really beautiful. So purple. Maybe a purple here, add some little bits of purple on his head and his horn, like that. There we go. And what colours haven't we used? Have a little look. Maybe haven't used any orange, so let's get some orange on it. It's a nice big orange spot here. Maybe a little orange one there. A bit of orange up here. Okay, so nearly there. I might just add another little pink one here. Right, so I'm going to let those spots dry for a minute while we do the ears. And then we'll come back to those in a minute and we'll put all our lovely patterns in. So the ears, I'm, I'm going to try and paint it and add a little bit of shape to it. So I think what we'll do, um, might do some red and yellow on the outside and then a darker colour in on the inside. So I'm going to start off again with my, um, I'm going to start off with my light colour because I'm using watercolours. So I'm going to get my yellow and this top section, I'm going to do yellow. like that and then underneath I'm going to do it red make it a bit darker underneath we're going to do this little bit red go over the eyelashes a bit that's fine okay we can use a bit of water just to blend that out if you want to if you're using poster paints obviously you just use a bit of white so again, 
other side, let's get our red. Nice red just on that middle bit and then use your water or your white just to blend it out a bit. Okay. Um, what we'll do as well, we'll add a little bit of black. So I'm going to use my paints. If you want to, you could use a black felt tip here just to make it easier for you. And I'm just going to paint that middle section black with my white highlights again. And the same on the other side. Nice and slow and careful. You don't want to go out the lines with your black too much because it's difficult to fix if you go a bit wrong. And then just flick, flick, flick. Lovely black eyelashes. Okay. Um, also, if this is dry, I'm going to just pop a little bit of shading, just a little bit of black on his nostrils, make them a bit darker just at the top. And I think maybe as long as it's dry, you could put a little bit of black just inside his mouth. Just a little bit there. Okay. Um, so once that's completely dry, what I'm going to do is just with my brush, because I'm using watercolours, I'm just going to add a little bit of water and we are just going to drag a little bit of colour so it's not really white, it's got a bit of a tint to it. And I'll do the same on the face. So we don't really want to be mixing all our colours together, but we just want to give him a little bit of a tint. If you're using um, poster paints, you could just mix up a very pale colour, just pick a colour, and you could just pop a little bit in the background if you wanted to. And just a little tint just to not knock that white back a little bit. And the same on the horns. And the same up here. There we go. Okay, so once we've done all that, that's almost like our background, we're gonna finish him off with some really lovely patterns. Now, you can choose what colours you want to do your patterns in. Um, obviously the only rule that there is, is to use a different colour to the background colour. So if you did a yellow, you wouldn't want to put a yellow pattern on the top because you wouldn't see it. So you choose a contrasting colour. So I've got a yellow there, just check it's dry. I can then start adding some lovely patterns. So you can choose, these are your patterns. We can do pretty much anything you want. I quite like using black as well. Black obviously works with it, <coughs> excuse me, every colour. So you can do like little squiggly lines. You could do little spirals. I do like spirals. I think they look nice, big spirals, little spirals. If it's still a bit wet, it will bleed a bit. So just make sure that it is completely dry. So I'm just checking it as I go along. Just do little dots, lovely dotty patterns. Um, do stripes, diagonal stripes, or you could do crisscrosses or swirls. Change your color. Um, do some wiggly lines, scribbly lines, okay, and then we could do a few little ones in our face. You don't have to do every one in your face. I 
just pick a few. Do a few and then just live up here maybe. Obviously yeah, teeny tiny little patterns. Um, and then maybe just a few little black dots and patterns in your horn. Don't have to do every little section. I might even put some on my ears. Put some there and then some little swirls on this side. So it's entirely up to you. Put a few little dots around his nose, down the side. Okay, so you can just really work those patterns and do as much of, or as little as you want. And then the only, the last thing to do is with your pen, or you can use your pencil, is just to give him a little outline, just to bring out those shapes a bit more. So I'm just gonna, little sketchy, broken line, just bringing out that shape a little bit, make him stand out a bit more. So his ears, down his neck. Might just go around his mouth a little bit as well. And there you have it. Just stand back, just have a quick check. Check that you're happy with it. Maybe a few more. They do have lovely long eyelashes. Okay, so I think there we have it. One finished giraffe. So we hope you enjoyed drawing your lovely multicoloured giraffe. Send in your pictures and we will see you again soon. Bye for now.